The safety management simulation allows participants to explore critical thinking, group dynamics, decision-making, and leadership in an airline operating environment. And this provides a safe virtual platform where users can analyze different strategy risk scenarios. Participants game an experience in a competitive and challenging environment and undertake activities that stimulate discussion and enable development of critical skills for effective safety management. In the safety management simulation, we look at four factors. Analyze safety risks under varying conditions, collaborate in real time among different players, conduct a safety risk assessment using relevant information, and apply critical thinking in the decision-making process. The cover story that we're using for the simulation is a fictitious Alouette Airlines, which has three different fleet types, six destinations, and eight routes. It's a low-cost airline, and they have had no safety incidents so far at the beginning of the simulation. Participants play in up to one of five roles. That includes corporate safety, maintenance, flight ops, in-flight, and commercial. The commercial role is optional and can be removed if only four people are available. That adds some flexibility to the simulation. Teams will play in groups. Here we see five people playing together. Each person will have their own computer in order to make decisions, and they will have different information available based on their role. Let's take a look at the simulation now. The users come to the login page and enter their username and password. And when they enter the simulation, they'll see some background information about Alouette Airlines explaining what they do, vision for the organization, and messages and news as the rounds progress. There are four rounds in the simulation, and the four rounds represent different opportunities for doing safety risks assessments as they progress. One of the key reports that the teams analyze is the four blocker, which outlines performance and importance as determined from safety culture survey results. Those safety culture survey results can be examined both for the entire airline average, but also different groups such as flight operations, cabin operations, operational control and flight dispatch, organization and management systems, aircraft engineering and maintenance, and ground hand handling and operations. And there are different ways of viewing those data. So we can see scores by each of those groups independently, as well as uh, table results. Safety incidences occur as the simulation progresses, and the simulation provides accident preliminary reports and final reports to the participants as they play through to learn more about what happened during a safety incident. The airline is considering Turbulence Aware, which is an aviation crowdsourcing platform, as part of a solution to reducing safety incidences related to turbulence. Background information on how Turbulence Aware works is provided to all the players of the simulation. Players get background information on the fleet specification with the three different aircraft types that are available, including the Coastal 150, Coastal 200, and Coastal 400. These are fictitious aircraft types that are available to Alouette Airlines. Alouette Airlines flies both international and domestic routes, and one of the tasks for the team is to uncover requirements that might vary between the international and domestic routes and also where areas of turbulence might be occurring. In addition to seeing a map of the flights, teams also see a flight schedule which explains the arrival departure times and the length of the flights which can vary as decisions are made in the simulation. Background information is provided to players to understand safety risk probability and severity. And those include how likely and how severe incidents might be. And then they can translate those probabilities and severities into a safety risk assessment. Teams determine if the probability of a safety risk incident related to turbulence is extremely improbable or frequent. And also, if an incident were to occur, what the outcome would be in terms of being catastrophic or negligible. Based on the settings for both the probability and severity, an assessment is made if the risk is tolerable, intolerable, or acceptable. After a team has completed making the safety risk assessment, the team can enter decisions and players can collaborate on editing the decisions that are available for the team. They can make decisions around routes related to suspending operations, changing the standard operating procedure for specific routes, rerouting aircraft, around turbulence if needed. They can also do risk monitoring options, including monitoring events as an emerging risk, monitoring areas of concern, 
for specific routes. In addition, teams can issue operational notices or retrofit aircraft with the turbulence aware systems. After submitting decisions, facilitators debrief the teams on their results and new incidences occur as the simulation progresses. The simulation progresses over five rounds with four decision rounds. Round one begins with an OEM advisory. Round two is where an external incident occurs from another airline. Uh, Round three is a place where the internal incident and finally a regulatory requirement is set in round four.